know he's obviously a starter, but he'll be playing the cross. So I guess how much um, availability or like involvement will, will he have? Well, he's with lacrosse right now, but I mean, he loves, he soaks up anything with sports. So with, with us, he's always around a facility. So, you know, continue to do everything he needs to do for them and obviously trying to be around the office. He's just, uh, he's almost like, call him a coach's kid. You know, he's always around. So you watched him play the cross at all? I have, I watched him twice. Uh, Pretty impressive, isn't it? Really impressive. Uh, you know, his skill set on the football field really transitions well out there. So. And, and as a lacrosse fanatic, He's getting better every play that he plays as his reps. Yeah, I missed his goals. I got to the Penn State game uh, late. I was trying to find a place to live, honestly. But I got back up here and uh, caught it. We were up 10 to 13. So it was awesome to hear it here. He was right. telling me about the two goals. So you have to remember that. Beat Penn State. That should be number Beat one State, on the list. Yeah, Do go. you have any other safeties that can play lacrosse? It's probably yeah, Bruce's know. next question. I don't know, yeah. but it's a it's an interesting sport. It was the first time I've seen it live, yeah. you know, um, and don't have a clue how the how it works, but the substitutions were a little crazy to me, guys running on and off the field. So it was fun to watch though. Since nineteen ninety one, Viron Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the DC metro area and around the globe. We make your company work for your next IT project. Call Viner Forgates at 301-251. 2900 or on the web at vinerforgates.com. Back on the lacrosse field, what's it like your first game back? Yeah, I mean, it was great. Um, got dust off, got the dust off and everything else. I'm freezing some little sudden, but um, it was good. You know, it was with the rocks, how did he come about hiring you and stuff? You know, I've just usually met him over the years recruiting. Um, and then, um, you know, I've worked for some guys, particularly Kevin Sumlin and some other guys that have worked with him in the past. And, you know, that opened the door and obviously um, had the opportunity to come up and interview and, and ended up working out. But really excited about it and fired up to be a part of this defense and this team. So. Maryland's safety and corner history in the past decade has been fantastic. Yeah, it has been. And, you know, it's it's been interesting to watch them, you know, and just to see what they did, those two did in the combine this year. I think that's a huge deal that you can accomplish a lot here playing with them back in. With the guys that have played here, like Glenn, who I know he got hurt last year, but he's got some flexibility to play other spots, you know, our star nickel and our safety. So I think, you know, getting them comfortable to where we can get our best players on the field and then, you know, Bo obviously just keep grinding his craft and, you know, maybe letting him play a little bit of field safety just so he learns the defense a little bit more in the detail. How deep of knowledge of the offense, the opposition offense, do you have to have to be able to coach the safeties to know what to look at? Well, I mean, it's all about a read. You know, you got to have a key read, and you got to teach them the progressions and the different things you get. You know, that's one thing that I'm excited about personally going into this offseason or this spring football is the fact that I um, I've been around like the last decade, been around these extreme offensive head football coaches. You know, and there wasn't really a install period going into spring ball to where you can actually learn and see two back runs, see two tight end sets, see multiple receiver sets. And I think the way that Coach Loxley does it is going to be huge for the progression of the safeties because they, they have to learn the game from the, the, the keys that they see. The combination of Bo and Dante last year was lethal. Uh, <laughs> Where can they take it to this year? Yes. In other words, yeah. they had interceptions, they had a ton of tackles. How did they get better? Well, I think what you do is you work on the things that you think are your weakness. You know, you cut up uh, with all the good, you got to focus on those one or two areas that you can improve, whether it's playing the middle of the field post or running an alley, you know, making that open field tackle a little bit differently. Um, so there's plenty of work to work on. And the beauty about those two is that they understand that they need to get better and they want to get better and they want to be the best. So, I mean, that's, that's all you could ask for from a group of young men.